I've been uploading videos rapidly, and therefore I don't remember when I uploaded certain clips, certain things, but do you guys remember that pool that I showed you that needs work so I can go skinny dipping? Well, today, Kat and I and her family got to working on that. So, uh, here's a short video of us doing that. Dirty homeless scrub, dirty homeless scrub. Life is hell for a dirty homeless scrub, dirty homeless scrub. Dirty homeless scrub. Life is hell for this dirty homeless scrub. Thought you'd see in a million years. <laughs> Kool-Aid doing yard work. <laughs> Say hi, Nana. <laughs> or not. Wave. <laughs> okay. I want to touch this poison oak, and I think I might be throwing it all over myself.
doing some yard work. Yeah, all in the pool. I can't get nowhere near. I neither can I. I'm, I'm highly allergic as well. I'll break out in hives, start itching. I've been cutting around it though. Oh shoot. We gotta get this pool up into tip top shape. We got to. We have no other option than to buy that cover this year. Okay, if you guys are going to do yard work in 90 degree weather, make sure you have shorts. I'm dying! And I really don't want to cut these into shorts, they're my favorite sweatpants. But they're like cargo sweatpants but red. Like, they're awesome as shit, I'll never find another pair. But man, it's humid. I swear to God, I see the smoke in my cigarette stop in the air. I'm sweating too. <laughs> Uh, I've been in the pool, huh? dipping it out. Uh, and there's snakes out here. Copperheads. Yeah. Oh man. Yep, no, this is having fun. Gotten some dominance shit going on with my dog. That's Daisy. She's older now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, I rolled this bitch out. It's not bigger. Okay, no neck. That's enough. Pulling on necks. Daisy, you too. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're not done. We only worked for a couple hours today because it got fucking hot. And it's always fucking humid out here. So, uh, it's going to take us a little while to finish that. Like, we couldn't even figure out how to, how to suction the water out. The shit wasn't working right. 
but uh, it'll get done. It will get done. Oh, by the way, before I go, Sandy, thank you for this. The retired stripper sent me a message on Facebook, a video message. I'll just let you watch. Actually, you know what? Here you go. So on Facebook, Kool-Aid, I got some news for you. Do not believe in Erica no more. Say hi to Kool-Aid, Chris. He already knows I'm alive. What's up, dude? Oh, he knows? Yeah, uh, Kraken Well, fuck, this is a waste of... Well, he could, he could take this and put this on his YouTube, right? I'm alive. I almost died. Oh, yeah. Alright. Really? Dick. <sighs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Did you hear that? Did you hear how little he gave a shit that I cried for him? Cat and I mourned for him. Hell, I made a memorial at the end of a video. And all he had to say was, oh, he already knows, Kraken told him. No, Sandy, this was not a pointless video you sent me. Thanks again, because that just shows how much of a dick he really is. To the last fucking moment, I considered him my son. Even when we had a fallout. And we did. Over some bullshit. Because he lied to me and I told him the one thing I don't like is people lying to me because I will never lie to them. This is a fucking slap in the face. He told Kraken, and I might have mentioned this before, like I said, I kind of forget, that Erica says that every time he gets locked up. If he knew this, he could have warned me, because this isn't the first time he, that him possibly getting locked up. For real. See, to me, family means tight. Like, okay, Crispy, I called my son. Cat's my niece. Which one should have been closer? The son, right? No. Cat understands the true definition of family, but that motherfucker couldn't understand shit. Kraken understands family. That's my brother. Fucking Robert and Shaggy understand family and his wife. They my brothers too. And in fact, Robert obviously knows the definition of family because he said if I ever need to come back, like if this doesn't work out, he said his door's open. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm getting a little heated about Crispy. <laughs> I can't help it. My bad. But it's all good. You know, because I want to get past that. Um, yeah, I'm getting new ideas. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to start making stickers. Like all my shirt designs that for some reason sell my tees.com on my phone. I can't figure out how to collect the money because two of y'all already bought my shit. I see the orders. I see them. 
it says that it's uh, payment has been made and that the order is being filled. It will tell me when they're shipped and I will tell you. But I can't figure out how to get that money onto my PayPal. It's connected to my PayPal. I see it. But I can't figure out how to collect it. Because it's just sitting there on their website. But hey, I'm not going to stop you from buying the shit. Just because I'm not collecting it. If you like it, buy it. I don't give a fuck. Link will be in the description. Um, I wanted to say something else, but I can't remember at the moment. I remember now. Three days. I think maybe four by now. I don't know. Very fucking soon. Sorry, Toons. I forget. But my boy Toons. Getting married. Fuck yes. If you recall a few years back. One of my videos. I was there when he proposed. So were you. He's getting married. Congratulations, Toons. Everybody, congratulate that motherfucker in the comments. If I don't see one, congratulations, y'all are dicks. I hear Cat coming down the stairs. <laughs> what are you talking to? YouTube? Oh. Need a cigarette? Yes. My last one. Your last one? Oh, yeah, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go to bed. What is it, like 2 in the morning? No, it's like 12.30. Or 1. It feels like 12, like 2. It's only 1 in the morning. It's been a long fucking day, as you saw. <sighs> we didn't even get up till 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I couldn't literally climb out of the bed. That bed was so soft. I told you I was going to swallow you. She's got a king size pillow, pillow top. top. Yes, it was comfortable as shit to fall asleep on. But when I woke up, that's a whole new ball game. Because I'm going to have to take you a while to adjust to sleep on that Okay, bitch. I woke up because I was literally in, like, almost in tears and pain. I couldn't move. My back's like, you did what? My head's like, oh, yes, you did. <laughs> and my neck just didn't want to cooperate with either one of them. Probably because the pillow you had was too hard. I had a migraine right off the bat. <laughs> and I couldn't get off the bed. Lotus, thank you, had to help me. <laughs> Seriously, I grabbed her tail. I slept in the woods. <laughs> I grabbed her tail. I couldn't do it. I was like, oh, come on. I'm like, Lotus. She, she got up. She came over to me. I patted her. She started to walk away. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, Are you feeling a little better? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. And yes. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a rough day. But I took some painkillers. And now I'm all loose. I got to talk to my boyfriend. Well, I, I, I got to talk to people today. Big Vegas, I talked to him for a little bit today. Yes, he's a cool dude. In Arizona. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just rambling now. And he got the rudder weed eater. <laughs> me mean, the weed eater, that was pretty fun. It actually massaged my back a bit I until I stopped. Some, I think it released <laughs> some tension because of the vibration. It was, it was cool, yeah. It just, I'm not used to the hand I'm grip. I'm surprised my grandma let you do it because normally she won't let anybody touch her tools. Well, so I asked. Like you. I, I walked up to her, I'm like, do you want me to do that? 
And she totally is I didn't know she had fun doing it. Like, I... <laughs> she enjoys it. So, and she's like, well, yeah, if you want it. And I was like, okay, cool. Ring, ring, ring. I'm not going to let an older woman do some yard work like that. Well, she's only 67. <laughs> you usually don't slow Although down that right. woman, she, she drives like, <laughs> they got big property, so she drives equipment. <laughs> big equipment. I'm not used to this shit. Okay, to me, an older woman like that, you help across the street, you open doors for her, obviously, but like you try to make their their burden as light as possible. Now she she was out working me. Like I'm feeling like, oh my god, and she's like, what? You're like, what? Huh? We don't slow down till we're eighty here, because <laughs> we can't. <laughs> but it's a long. Well, your grandma's different, but. Uh, your grandma, she's just like up and working until she goes to bed. But a lot of people out here, they're just like, what? I'll get to it and like, yeah, we'll do this. But it won't be till like later. <laughs> Procrastination is a hobby out here. It's everywhere, even in the stores. I'm waiting in line for a pack of cigarettes and they're just chatting it up. I'm like, um, next please? Like, I'm... There's people waiting on me in the car, like... Slow, turtle slow here. <laughs> it's, everybody's in turtle mode. I fucking love this cup. <laughs> Coffee. Speaking of cups, I'm going to hopefully get that kiln going, because it's sitting right there. Um, We just need to get an element. Still... I got one donation towards it already. Thank you for that. Um, we're getting close. I, uh, she said the shelves are more expensive than the element. Filament? Element? I'm not sure which one. It's that big wire thing that goes around the inside that heats it up. And then the shelves, she said, are more expensive. So. But uh, once that gets going, man... I swear to God, I got a lot of ideas for, for ceramic shit. I want to make plateware. I want to make a lot of coffee cups because I'm a coffee drinker. And those things are sellers. Coffee cups. Yeah, but I'm not sure how like to design them. Should I put any of my shirt designs on them? Or am I just using the same design too much? I mean, I got a lot of them. I got 41 designs on my phone right now. But they're all similar. But I got lots of ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I think I'm going to start off with stickers. Print them out myself because she's got a printer upstairs. All I have to do is buy printer paper and, and ink. And then I'm thinking three by five stickers for like four bucks. I'll ship them out. I don't give a fuck. Uh, let me know what you think about if that's a good idea or not. Am I retarded? Am I stupid? I've never had to try to brand myself, so I'm doing what I can with what I got. Oh yeah, that song I showed you in my last video, because it was, uh, it got pinged for copywriting, for the beat, my old producer got back to me, and, 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 and it looks like I'm actually gonna get that old payment that I, that I was due, he said on the first, he's gonna make sure I get my revenue for my old sales. And he said I can use this beat. Thank you. Thank you for letting me use the beat. I'm sure you're going to see this video. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to I'm going to smash that shit. You hear how quiet it is?
I got a recording studio right here. All I have to do, god damn it, why does it always come down to meeting? A power cord went out. Somewhere between Sandy's house and my travels here. So I need a new power cord. But one of you guys, bless your soul, ordered it already for me. And he said once it gets to his house to give me an address to ship it to me because he didn't have one note. He didn't have this address right away to have it ordered to me. So he's taking that extra step. Awesome. I love you guys. And once I get that, I'll be able to record and smash that shit. Because I really want to get that out. That was a rough draft and I know it. And I could do so much better to it. I just didn't want to try without having the rights. But I can do it now. I can do it now. So, I've got many things about to pop. I'm just impatient. And like you heard Kat say here, everything is slow pay. Well, I don't have the time to go slow pace. I'm going crazy without making money. I'm used to being making money every night. You saw that shit in Vegas. Even if it was $2, that was money I had. Like, that was more than I started with. This past week, you know, I've been going broke. I had money in my pocket, thanks to Robert and some of you guys out there. But I'm not making money. I'm losing it. Quickly. <laughs> Fuck. Because of these things. And I know that. But I can't quit. Because I'm really stressed. And I need some shit. Because weed is illegal here. Fuck. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> I need to make money. I'm... So I got to get on the ball, but everything is slow here. But slow and steady wins the race. I don't know. I just got a lot of shit that I need to get done. Apparently some of you guys seem to think I need to prove it to you that I'm willing to do it. Which I don't give a shit if I have to prove to nobody. Like I have to prove to myself. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all these motherfuckers. I gotta prove it to myself. Because I know I can do it. It's just I need... Now. It's so... Proof. Oh. Congratulations, Tunes. You're getting married. <laughs> oh, fuck. My phone's about to die. I got 15% battery left. Uh, I'm so anxious to do shit, man. I hate sitting still. And I really haven't gone too many places since I've been here. One house or the other. Uh. I'm just venting, venting to you guys, because you can't talk back at the moment. So I could say everything without any words bouncing in my face. But, yeah. Not used to this yet, tell you that. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But, I will admit, if I was in Vegas, I wouldn't be able to do all these things that I'm thinking about doing. I wouldn't have, A, the place to do it at, B, the materials. Like, I wouldn't have a kiln. Or, I mean, access to a kiln. It's not mine. I wouldn't have access to a printer to make stickers. 
I won't have access to quietness to record any new music. And all this is while I'm trying to get my ID. Because I lived in Illinois when I was born. And every time I go to a website, they say go to the go in person to the county you were born. Really? Ah, see, I can't teleport there right now. I used to be able to teleport. Just look back into my old videos. I was teleporting everywhere. But I can't get there to get my ID. So, supposedly, there's a website where I can get it online. But, I have to pay online. I got, I'm having a hard time finding that website. <laughs> so, getting my ID is going to take a little bit of time. But now I have actually an address for shit to be mailed to. I couldn't do that in Vegas. Well, I didn't even know of this website while I was in Vegas. So get off my ass. Y'all know who I'm talking to. Uh huh. Motherfuckers always saying, get a job, get a job, get a job. Don't you think I know that? You try doing me. You try being on the streets, homeless, and, and no ID, and no way to prove I am who I am. Except for to go get fingerprinted at the police station. But even when they do that, they won't send you out with proof of who you are. You try doing this and say, and say, oh, I, you can get a job right away. Mm-hmm. Challenge. Aha. Uh -huh. You all righteous thinking motherfuckers. Quit your job. Quit your job. Go out and actually do a 30-day homeless challenge. And at the end of that 30 days, well, 60-day challenge, okay? You should it shouldn't be hard, right? You just you, it should be easy for you. Everything should be easy for you, you righteous sons of bitches. So go out and do it, right? 60-day challenge. Go out and do it. And in midpoint, that 30 days, after not showering, wearing the same fucking clothes, barely fucking eating, because, oh, do what I mentioned, when you quit that job to start, postpone all your credit cards, all your bank accounts, walk out with nothing but $100 in your fucking pocket. That's it. That's all you get for the 60-day challenge is $100 fucking dollars. I didn't even get that. So do that shit, right? And at the 30-day mark, apply for a job. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. Don't apply for just one. Because you might think you're going to get that first one. Nope. Apply for... I don't know. I can't count how many I applied for. Keep doing it. Because you're not going to get fucking hired. You might think so because you got everything. Okay. Now, if you want to take that extra step, drop your ID in a sewer once. Mm-hmm. Drop all your identification. Just drop it in the sewer. Because that's what it felt had happened to me when my shit was stolen. Do that. And then come back and watch my videos, because I'll still be here making them. Oh, yes, I will. Come back and start telling me how, it, how easy it is to get that fucking job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll wait. I'll see you in 60 fucking days. <sighs> Much better. Finally got that off my chest. <sighs> mm. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Mm -mm. No music, but I'm dancing. <clears throat> Uh...
Yeah, I'm venting. It's a release of all kinds today. Except for the very, very good release. I need a bitch. I need some ass. <laughs> okay, that's one topic. If you don't know that Cat and I are not together by now, y'all dumb. If you think that baby's mine, y'all stupid. <laughs> I'm just being that, that family she needs. And to be honest, when you're living on the streets, you need somebody. Doesn't matter who. You need to come, you need a partner in your way, so you can't do it alone. Which is why I, I, I got a family. Every, people who I thought I could trust. Kraken and Cat, Amber, Shaggy, they about the only ones. And Amber, when I say Robert, I include you. I do. I don't mean to, to, to forget to say your name. <coughs> Fuck, I just forgot where I was going. Uh, shit. Brain fart. And now that track is gone. The only way to get it back is if I rewatch this clip. But that, would, that wouldn't make for good editing, so that, it's gone. It's gone. I'm probably gonna laugh at it when I re when I actually edit this video. I'll be like, oh, that's what I wanted to say. But anyway, sorry for talking your ears off. That's what I needed to say. I needed some ass. <laughs> And then it went out. Yeah, I do. Queen was the last piece of ass I had. So sad. <laughs> but I'm not really worried about that. I am, but I'm not. Cat seems to think that I, that I'm non-sexual. I forgot. What, she said I'm celibate. <laughs> no, I need it. But I'm the type of person that I won't hit it unless I know what that person's about. I need to know a person. I need to get to know them and be like, yeah, you're a cool, you're a cool chick. Uh, I'm not, I've never had a one-night stand. Yeah, no. No. See? And I'm 41. I've only been with like a few people. When I say few, I mean like 10, 11. I don't have time to count. I'll, it'll take me a while to think. <sighs> I've always been family oriented until I became homeless. Because when I was 18, I had a child, 17. I turned 18 two months after my first child was born. I just don't talk about that much because you trolls. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, fuck it. I'm in this video. It's going to take me a little bit of time to edit it. So, uh...